Hello again, welcome to Solving Problems, part three. This is the third in the series of the discussion I've been having with you on overcoming problems or overcoming difficulties. In this life, I told you, problems abound. When we face problems, we have to understand that there is a solution to every problem. There is nobody who does not have a problem. No matter how rich a man is, no matter how influential a man is, no matter how powerful a man is, every man is faced with problems. And But the joy is this. Every one of us can overcome our problems. Every one of us can overcome our difficulties. Every one of us can win in life. Every one of us can succeed in life if we only know the principles of solving problems. In the first presentation, I told you that words is the first ingredient of solving problems, and that was what God used. As a matter of fact, in, in, in Genesis chapter 1, when darkness covered God's creation, the first thing he did was to speak words. He said, let there be light. In the second presentation, I told you that the second thing to solve problem is affirmative action. Taking positive action, positive steps to solving your problem. Now today I want to talk about having faith. You have, you must have faith in yourself. Believe in the God-given ability in you to solve that problem. Even you, no matter how weak you may think you are, you have the power inside you to solve the problem. You can solve the problem that is facing your life. All you need to do is believe that you can do it. Many times we cannot do anything when we don't do it. But by the time you try to do it, you just find out that you can do it. You need to have faith in yourself. Believe in yourself that you can do it. My brother or my sister, listening to me, you can do something with your life. There is something inside you that can push you above that problem. That can make you to ride over that problem. That can make you to walk majestically over that problem. That thing is in you. Believe it. Go out and do it. The Lord will help you. In Jesus' name. For more encouragement, visit www motivationfortoday.com or email me at successdimensionchurch at gmail.com God bless you.